meetings, public meeting, the National Register of Citizens and the Crisis of Citizens. So what or who determines your belongingness to a nation? Or what happens when you are rendered rightness or stateless? The recently concluded National Register of Citizens process in Assam has reignited the contemporary question of citizenship and the politics of identity, not only in Northeast India, but in the context of whole India. After the final list of Assam was published on 31st August 2019, over 19 lakh people have been left out of it. Several individuals and institutions have expressed dissatisfaction over the final list of NRC, with all of them having their own political aspirations and agendas. <coughs> BJP leaders are upset that their desire to win out a huge amount of uh, Muslim immigrants stands invalid now, as those left out largely are Hindus. Hemant Biswasamba, the finance minister of Assam, had even mentioned that other measures to offset the NRC process, the errors in the NRC process, will be uh, sought after. Those who are left out include those from linguistic, religious, and ethnic minorities, Bengali, Hindus, working class Muslims, members of the Gurkha community, people belonging to indigenous communities such as Kusras monkeys, married women, and children. The worst affected are village dwelling married women who have virtually no documents as most of them are not born in hospitals, rarely sent to school or married off to distant places as teenagers. The people who have been excluded from the final NRC list are now about to go through a legal process to defend their citizenship rights before foreign tribunals. This process itself, in worst cases, may extend up to five years, failing which they will be shifted to detention camps. India has no extradition treaty with Bangladesh. Bangladesh has already made it clear that it will not allow entry to any of the so-called foreigners. No doubt, this moment in history is critical to all civil societies, human rights organizations and all of us because it may decide the kind of communities that we will be seeing in the coming days. Are those people then destined to spend their lives forever in detention camps? Are we facing a serious humanitarian crisis that is making us accept as normal and humane those means of control that are outrightly inhuman? Do we lack the courage to be reflective on and critical of our policy measures? Besides Assam, the possibility of a national population register at all India level and detention camps being set up in both Karnataka and Maharashtra has already raised fears among some sections of the societies. Are we right in blindly believing then that the center will uphold all the human values when the list is upgraded in all other states of India too? Are we looking at the rise of a global system of racialized order and a hierarchized global uh, labor market that will permanently push people living in the border areas into a permanent state of statelessness? We hope that this evening we will seek to address some of the other questions. Once again, on behalf of all the members of Office Collective and Amikar Vidya, Sari Sir, Fully Pedia Sir, Sari Sir, Lai I welcome you all. We have with us today the members of Citizens of uh, uh, for Justice and Peace, its Secretary Pista Sitwar, who needs no introduction, victims from Assam who will present their testimonies, and students who work on National University of Singapore. So, we have two sessions today. The first session is Testimonies of the Victim. It will be followed by a documentary screening titled Behind the Shadows, a short film screening made by the CTV team on the detention camps in India, Assam. The second session begins thereafter titled Convocations Across. Let us now begin with the first session. Jamsir Ali, a prominent journalist from Assam, also a social rights activist uh, associated for a long time with CGP, will moderate this session after his brief speech. He will also be translating the victim stories as and when needed. We have with us Anima Day, her grandson Vicky Day, Hassan Ali, and Gopal Das with us today, who have come all the way from Assam to tell us their stories. Anima Day is the mother of Sugroto Day, who was founded after mysterious circumstances in Puadpara detention camp, leaving behind his wife Karuna, teenage son Vicky, daughter Suchitra. All of them have been excluded from the final list. Hassan Ali is a suicide survivor who had attempted suicide last year when his name was excluded from the draft in July 2018. CGP had counseled and assisted him during the application process and has now been, his name has been included in the final list. The names of the entire family of Gopal Das were first excluded too last year. After the efforts were made by CGP team, their names are now in the list. So they are already on the stage. I please hand over the mic to Jamsi sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Constituency Amendment Bill uh, 2016 uh, and presently 2019. Uh, so, is there any necessity to support the CAB to settle all those people who have come post 1971? If I Raised my voice in Koringon city, where 70 percent, 70 percent people, especially the Bengali Hindu people, are from Bangladesh. If I raise my voice against CAP, maybe they attack on me. And after two hours, I had a separate meeting with younger uh, elders and elders, about 70, 70 plus uh, South people. And I asked the younger generation people to attend that meeting also. I raised the same question. How many people are here who have come past 1971, post-1971? They have said no one has come. The older generation says no, no one has come after 1971. I asked the younger generation, what is your feeling that they are saying no one has come after 1971 and you are saying 90-70% people, uh, people have come after 1971. Then a debate was there with younger and older generation. And from the younger generation, they uh, raised finger to a family which was great, great grandson of Vipin Chandrapat. You see, Vipin Chandra Pal was born there at Koringon City. I, I, it is not necessary to introduce Vipin Chandra Pal to all of you. But they say this uh, family has come post 1971. Then they say uh, that family is not my grand uh, family. They are originally inhabitants of this area because his family is. Part of Bipin Chandrapal. And after all sorts of debate, I found the older generation home and the younger generation have to uh, uh, conclude their debate. Uh, we have some misconceptions. We have some misconceptions, so we should have, uh, we are clear now. Because as uh, there is no deliberation and debate, Many means of misconceptions are in our mind. So, uh, many people, including uh, Northeast Complex uh, Mumbai, uh, many people are here who are raising their voices against NRC. But the perception which is prevailing in Assam seems not from 1971 that only the Asha movement was started. But it was started in the 1920s. 1920. Because we should go far back to line system, which was a line was uh, made, artificial line was made, that this migrant people who has come from East Bengal, especially the Muslim people, they could not cross this line and assimilate with mainstream Assamese people. Their artificial line system has created much more misconceptions about the communities. In 2012, a violence was there in my area. My house was also burned along with 670 houses of my uh, the revenue circle. And after that, uh, just after two days, I visited an area which is called Mongolia. When I went there, the younger generation Bodo people used to say, Brother, uh, you have come, I have no, we have no uh, conflict with you all, but we can tolerate this Bangladesh. Because in that area, a village was born that is called Madhrava. And I asked the younger people who are Bangladeshi here, they say all these people are Bangladesh. Yes, maybe. Uh, have you seen? I asked them, have you seen that they have uh, migrated from Bangladesh? No, we have not 
see that uh, this, all these various houses are new. Then I asked, brother, as you are not also witness and I am also, also not the witness, we should know whether these people are Bangladeshis or not to our older generation. I asked a person who was about 80 years, uh, above 80 years, who is grandfather, uh, uncle of uh, local MP, member of parliament of that time. I called on him and asked, uh, uncle, how many people are here who have come from Bangladesh? No, no one has come. How can you say? They are saying all these houses are burned, uh, 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 built up newly. And they say that uh, the old people, older people say that you see, there were 12 houses in this area. And those houses are of their siblings. And if I go through history, the old men say that these houses are burned, burned in the year 1948 for the past time. And after that, out of 56 family, out of 56 family, only 12 family stayed here and all other has gone to East Pakistan, migrated to East Pakistan. And from the 12 family, now 18 families are here in two villages. These misconceptions are here because of this misconception. Assam has been divided from social, economic, and even political perceptions of the different perceptions that have been created all over uh, the years, for long, for long years. And to minimize this misconception, we took an initiative that NRC must be done in Assam. Because how many people are Bangladeshi and how many are not? That should be understood by each and everyone. And we are fortunate that at present 19,6657 people have, are left of final energy. Out of this only the Bengali speaking Hindus and various communities of Muslims are labeled as Bangladeshi. They, their number is very, not very high. Out of these 19 lakh and 6 thousand people, Muslim left out from final NRC is 5 lakh and 20 m. That is not more than 30% of total population left out from NRC. But Muslim population at present in Assam is 34%. And among the Bengal Hindu, out of 70 lakh Bengal Hindu, only 670,000 people have been, 90,000 people have been left from final NRC. And others are various community people. We must remember one thing. That is, the, among the Muslim and Bengal Hindu, there were 19 sectors. If I want to elaborate it, it will take much more time. But I want to let you know only one thing. That there, are, there were 19 sectors from Muslims and Bengal Hindus to empty his name into NRC. If in a single sector, Someone officer has given a negative mark that his name should not be included in, port, uh, in final NRC. And 18 get has passed the resolution that resolved that this name should be included due to arrogance of a single officer. 18 past certificate has been rejected. You should imagine. And other than this, 
faithfully Hindu and Muslim. All were checked only in three gates. That is, whether their application has been written in full proof or not. Second gate was, whether the family they have given is totally full proof or not. And third one was, from district magistrate in which special inquiry, whether these people belong, belong to, belongs to Indonesia, uh, Indonesia uh, people of indigenous community or not. If only three secretaries passed, then everything is okay, his name was included. But if the equal Justice was given. Equally, everything was said that hundreds of people would have been out of NRC from this indigenous community of people. But about the indigenous, many misconceptions are there. You see, first of all, the Asham, which is uh, what is the geographical position of Assam as of today? Was never before 1947. It was uh, whether much more or less. But in 1826, so the TTO began the or during the 600 years of Ahom rule, my own district, which is nice prime district at present, that is called undivided Gwalwara. Und undivided Gwalwara, which is divided into nine districts at present, out of these nine districts, six districts are with Asha, and three districts are with Meghalaya. And in this huge area, Ahom could rule over only three years and six months. This territory. First thing. Second matter is that more or less the coast kingdom was under the uh, supremacy, a maximum time under the supremacy of Mughal ruler. And the Mughal territory was, for the long time, the last destination of Ahom and Mughal, uh, the point was Gohan. And in 1826, Ahom territory, last destination of Ahom territory towards west was Korea. So, Rosboko is not it. It is fact of history. Some people are saying that the territory which was uh, uh, seized by British uh, by the end of TTR 1826, that year should be the uh, mark for uh, decision. Uh, deciding indigenous people. If we decide, then what will be those areas which was not under our home territory in 1826? Kasari Kingdom, especially Kasar and Karimgans, all this area were never under the Ahom supremacy. How can we say that this, uh, or the people of those area will be Decided as indigenous or not throughout the treaty of Yantaku. This question, thousands, are, thousands of questions are there. We should have to take all these questions into uh, very, we should have to consider all these questions very seriously. Finally, what is uh, at present, uh, 
regarding MRC, it has been proved that the number among the Muslims or Bengali Hindus, all are not migrated people post 1947. Huge number of Bengali Hindus has come from East Pakistan. And, uh, after 1947 and 1971, uh, we have decided to take all responsibility of all, the, of all those people from Ashraf Ekot. And the people, especially the Muslim people, I did see much more people uh, many people who have migrated from East Pakistan among the Muslim community because in my own district the total population of, uh, in between 1941 and 1951 the population growth rate in Assam all Assam was 19 percent among Hindus it was 57 percent among Muslims it was 13 percent Muslim the degenerate portrait of Muslim is always higher than average population. But it is only negative that Muslim population growth rate in between 1947 and 57 was for 30 percent against the total population growth rate in Asa in the decade against 19 percent. And in my own district, that is this undivided Gorba, which is my district now. In undivided Gorbara, Muslim population growth rate was, growth rate was only 1.47 percent. We should remember. In Assam district, Muslim population was growth rate in between 1947 and 41 and 51 was minus 1.47 percent. So into consideration, and that is why uh, we have uh, we. Took, especially CJB took a made uh, under Krishna Siddhartha. We have all last uh, few years very dedicatedly, and the result has come. And various groups of people have all on it. We are thankful all those, all those, and those people among uh, Muslim or those people out of 19, uh, 19 lakhs people. About 30% are minors whose fathers and mothers' name has been included, but they are not, not included. Many, much more, more than 50% people are women. They are some of their par, parts of their family has been included, but women has been left out. And for the Bengali Hindu, three major documents. That is migration card, citizenship card, and refugee invent card. Migration card and refugee card was not allowed. And if we take into consideration of validity of this document as per modalities and SOPs and as per Supreme Court guidelines, then out of six, uh, six lakh and fifty thousand, ninety uh, ninety thousand Bengali Hindu, I hope not less than five lakh people would be included automatically. That is the basic reality, and uh, I am concluding here. If necessary, I will uh, raise some points which uh, after uh, your questions. Uh, now I am going to. Talk the, uh, the history of the situation with discussions. Uh, that is, you should have to know the experience how NRC caused and uh, caused the people. Uh, first of all, we have Onima Day. Onima Day is her entire family has been excluded from NRC. Onima Dey was born here. Onima Dey's son 
Shubhrabhade, who died in detention camp last year. But, Orimadev, uh, uh, Shubhrabhade's grandfather, grandmother, Shubhrabhade's father, all were in 1950 and So, we should know her pain, how she is feeling now. So, Masima, I asked her how she is feeling that her name is not in NRC. She said that I am feeling that it is rather to die than living as my name is not in NRC. She is 69 now, 59 now. She was born in 1960. She was born in Assam, but her name is not in NRC. Uh, her father's name was included in NRC 1951 and entire family of her mother, uh, that is uh, his uh, all other brothers and uh, nephews, nice, all are included in NRC, but she is not. I'm 
ऐसा कुछ हालत में वो गुजरे है तो मैं बीटी जैसे अब चलना चाहता हूँ एक बीटी वो इस हसन अली हसन अली ये ही इस फ्रॉम मोरिका बिस्ती एंड वी यूट लाइक टू नो दैट मोरिका बिस्ती इस ना वर्स्ट इफेक्टेड बिस्ती को डिवोटर एनआरसी आईस यूज नंबर ऑफ आईस नंबर ऑफ डिवोटर्स यूज नंबर ऑफ डिक्लेयर कोर्टर्स आते हैं बिकॉज़ the district is having the highest illiteracy in Assam, and district is densely populated by Shidur caste people. That is the situation. Who are underprivileged? They are most and most affected. So, Hassan, तोरा तुम तुम्हारे साथ क्या हुआ था और कैसे सोना पड़ गया? Please, last minute के बीच हमारा जो सारे घटनाक्रम बोला है। तेरे बोलना है। 12 अक्टूबर 2019 मुंबई शहर में इतना बड़ा मीटिंग होगा बल्कि हमारा पता ही नहीं है। और पहले जाने का आगे में सब की ऊपर में मेरा यही अनुरोध है। हिंदी घर में पढ़ने में कुछ गलत होगा तो मुझे अपना बाइबल के माफी कर दीजिए तो अभी बोलना एनआरसी का बारे में जा रहा है देखिए मेरा पिताजी का 1951 का जो लीगेसी था वो मेरा बाई बहन पास फैमिली यूज किया करने का बाद तो पहले कसरा जो निकला है उसका पहले लिस्ट में मेरा चार फैमिली का नाम आ गया ऑलरेडी तो मैं भी गया था चेक करने के लिए जाने का बात देखा है मेरा यार नंबर जो एलआर से यार साहब था उनको दिया था चेक करने के लिए उन्हें चेक किया मैंने को बोला है कि आपका नाम नहीं है तो उन्हें मैं पूछा है तो सर पूरी आदमी का नाम आ गया मेरा नाम किसलिए नहीं है उसका बारे में मैं कुछ जानना चाहता हूँ तो उन्हें मेरे को बोला है आप जो जाने के लिए जाता है अभी तो मैं बोलने नहीं सकता हो तो आप दो तीन दिन बाद ऑफिस चाहिए हम पता लगा के देखेगा किसलिए नहीं है तो ऐसे हालत शॉर्ट टाइम बोल रहा है सर मैंने मुझे पांच मिनट समय दिया तो घूमते घूमते एक साल चला गया दूसरा फिर खसरा एक तो निकल गया उसमें भी नहीं आया तो हम घूमते घूमते फिर सर्कुल ऑफिसर जो शेयर शेयर है उनको भी मैंने एप्लीकेशन किया उन्हें एप्लीकेशन मेरा एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया तो फिर हम यहाँ से घूम के आया आने का बाद जो मोरीगांव डिस्ट्रिक्ट में टी है उनका पास मैं दो बार एप्लीकेशन किया एप्लीकेशन करके डीसी साहब को मैं खुल के बताया है सर साहब मोरीगा डिस्ट्रिक्ट मोरीबारी ब्लॉक वन डबल थ्री एट एन एस के ये सर मेरा नंबर यार एन फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर सब का नाम आया है मेरा नाम किस लिए नहीं है या ये सीआर सीआर को मैं अपील किया मेरा अपील उन्हें एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया नहीं किया बोल के आपका पास आया है तो आप क्या करना है मुझे थोड़ा हेल्प कीजिए तो डीसी साहब मेरा नोटिस जो है एक्सेप्ट किया है करके सीआर सीआर जिन को मैसेज किया और फाइल सिग्नेचर करके हमारे पास दे दिया बोला है कि ये फाइल कल आप शेयर शेयर को दे देना है तो दिया है देने का बात तो भी भी मैं काम में सक्सेस नहीं हो रहा है इसका बारे में हम गरीबी आदमी हैं मेरा दो बच्चा है ये लोग को लिखाई पर आय करना पड़ता है अपना एक काम का ऊपर में तो बड़ी टेंशन में घर गया मेरा नींद भी नहीं होता है खाना भी नहीं खाता हूँ नाता भी नहीं है ये टेंशन में घूमते घूमते जैसा मरने का हाल हो गया
तो लास्ट टाइम मैंने अटेम्प्ट किया कि एनआरसी जब नहीं होगा हम बस के केयर करेगा हम सुसेट करेगा तो हम सुसेट के अटेम्प्ट जब लिया था मैं रस्सी लेकर जब निकला था जो अभी फांसी झुलाएगा तो इस टाइम में अपना गांव का मेरा बड़ा भाई का भतीजा है जुएला में वो उनका साथ पेट हुआ पेट होने के बाद मेरा दिल मुख पर देखा है वो देख के बोलता है पापा तुम्हारा क्या हुआ तुम रोशी लेके कहा जा रहे हो अभी रात का टाइम तो हम बोले है पापा ऐसे ऐसा हालत है अभी मैं सुसाइड करेगा एनआरसी नहीं होगा तो मैं बात के क्या करूंगा तो वो मुझे बहुत शांत दिया है कि देखो अभी तू जो तुम जो अटेम्प किया अभी तुम मरने से अकेले मरेगा पूरा फैमिली तो नहीं मरेगा तुम मर जाएगा तुम्हारा बीवी बच्चा को क्या हाल होगा ये काम मत करो तुम्हारा क्या करना है हम करके देगा तो वो मुझे रास्ता से घुमा के घर लेके गया जाने का बाद उसका बाइक पर मेरे को उठा के उसका घर में लेके चला गया जाने का बाद फारूक भाई जो है सीसीपी का कोऑर्डिनेटर उनका साथ फेसबुक में व्हाट्सएप में उनका बातचीत होता है होने का बाद फारूक भाई को उन्हें मैसेज किया जुएला में जो फारूक भाई ऐसे ऐसा हालत है तो अभी क्या करेगा आप कुछ मुझे बताइए ये फैमिली तो जैसे भी हो बसाना पड़ेगा तो फारूक भाई साथ साथ व्हाट्सएप में बात किया है करने का बाद मुझे बोला है कि तुम जो एनआरसी में कागज यूज किया ये सब कागज लेके आओ हम फारूक भाई को व्हाट्सएप में देना है तो हम साथ साथ घर में गया फाइल लेके जुएल का घर आ गया आने का बाद बोला है कि पापा ये मेरा रिकॉर्ड क्या क्या यूज किया तो तुम देखो देख करके व्हाट्सएप में भेजने का बाद फारूक भाई का नंबर मुझे दिया है देने के बाद फारूक भाई के साथ हम बात करते हैं कि फारूक भाई मैं ऐसा मजबूरी में घूम रहा है तो अभी क्या करेगा मुझे बचाइए नहीं तो डिक्लेयर दीजिए मैं सुसाइड करने का एक्टिव लिया हम बास के बचने के लिए नहीं चाहता हूँ मैं सुसाइड करेगा तो फारूक भाई मुझे बहुत शांत दिया है देने के बाद जब सर जी जो आशाम का सीसीपी पे सीटे उनके लिए मेरी बहुत धन्यवाद है उन्हें गाड़ी लेके मेरा घर गया था जाने के बाद जो रिकॉर्ड हम व्यवहार यूज किया एनआरसी में ये सब अपना पाकिट के पैसा खर्चा करके मेरा जो कागजा है सब फोटो स्टेट करके फाइल बना के लिया है आने के बाद जमशेद जी मेरे को बोला है हसन भैया आप घबराइए मत आपका एनआरसी नहीं होगा तो उसका जवाब हम देगा आप कभी तो भी सुसाइड का एटम मत कीजिए आपका जो कुछ करना है हम करेगा आपके लिए सौ रुपया कहीं खर्चा करना पड़ेगा तो आप मत कीजिए लाखों रुपया खर्चा करना पड़ेगा तो हम करेगा तो इनके लिए बहुत शांत है तो देखिए वो जो फाइल बना के लिया या गुवाहाटी में उन्हें फाइल बना के जो कोऑर्डिनेटर पोती खा जिला उन्हें का पास फाइल देने का बाद कोऑर्डिनेटर पोती खा जिला इस फाइल को चेकिंग करके देखा है कि ए, मेरा यारें नंबर जो 524 था इस पर कुछ काम नहीं हुआ ठीक है आप लोगों को महसूस हो हो चुका है या उनका जो फाइल था वो फाइल एक बी बोर्डर का फाइल में पेंडिंग करके रख दिया तो इसके लिए हम बार बार नॉक करना पड़ा और नॉक करने के बाद उनको दोबारा क्योंकि उनका कोई डॉक्यूमेंट अपलोड नहीं हुआ था ऑपरेट नहीं हुआ था ऑपरेट में अपलोड नहीं हुआ था इसके वजह से उनको यारिंग का कोई नोटिस मिल नहीं रहा था और इसीलिए वो थोड़ा सा दुखी था तो हमारा सीजेपी टीम का एक 
that it was a repeated pressure and hammering. उसके नाम वो भी सारे परिवार के साथ उनका नाम बनाया है धनराजी के नाम पर और दूसरा एक हमारा साथी है वो है गोपाल दास गोपाल दास ही इस ऑफ़ सो स्पीकिंग इन बेंगली अच्छा अपना जो धनराजी का नाम आपको बात नाम ना आपने तो आपने की दोनों में माने ओबोस्टा का भी चला आपने माने की दोनों में पुरी स्थिति एंडर हिस्ट्री आपने बोल रहा हूँ उसका मैं किन्हें ही इसका किया हूँ यार माने यार ना सिर्फ अपने आप से लोग तो हमारे जो भगला यार ना सिर्फ मेरा आप से हमारे सेल आप से मेरे आप से शावास से हम इस टाइप से लेते हैं बराबर तो अपने आप में अच्छे तरह का लाभ नहीं तो अपने आपने क्या ना कैसी आपने हमारे आपने What he is saying that his name was dropped from final of NRC and after that he was totally under trauma and he told if he was thinking that I should, it is better to live the life rather to allow my uh, family member to take uh, take them into detention camp. So, Buddha ke unka, unka pita ji ka naam hai Mahatma Dhanas. Hel samajda chahiye. Mai thoda sa hishti karna chahta hu. So, unka pita ji ka naam tha Mahatma Dhanas. Aur unka bibi ka jo grandfather ka naam, unka naam bhi tha Mahatma Dhanas. Mahatma Dhanas do gao ke hai. Dono Mahatma Dhanas ka pita ji ka naam dusra hai. तो एक कोई भी कंसीडरेशन में नहीं लिया, उनको एक्यूज किया है ना सिंह के जितने रिस्पोंस में हम जाते हैं, क्या तुम फोर्सी दस्ता बेस से, एक ही माकुंदा से, एक का 1951 का एनआरसी किया, और उनका जो आपका 1966 का बोटल लिस्ट है, वो एक ही माकुंदा का तुम दो बार व्यवहार कर रहे हो, क्योंकि तुम्हारा � एनआरसी में नाम उठाने के लिए कैसी स्थिति है? तो इसके बजाय से आपने एक जो एनआरसी में नाम ना आशा हो रहे हैं, आपने जो दोपहर में की बना या आम आदमी दोपहर कौन कर सके? कौन पर दिन आपने हमारे की कोशिश है? आपने कहा कि बोलते हैं नाम जब आपने दिया हमारे घर में ना आते हैं, मेरे आपने थोड़ी आसे he can, uh, he did not uh, uh, come from his own villages, but he uh, on the first day when he called on me, I said that I went to Mumbai, and he called on from where you should have to, I should have to take my buses to Mumbai, and where should I <laughs> uh, get down from the bus? He will say my. The details and uh, I am going to meet you now. That was his mental position. It does not require to further elaboration. Asa, AJ NRC the Nam Nashar Kore, after the NRC hearing hearing, hearing at once, is a bit thematic. I am not very much. 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 बिस्ती करता है, बिस्ती तेरी चीजें हमारे से हेल्प करता है, तो अपन अपना मोबाइल नहीं आपने नहीं अभी क्या करता है, ऑटो कैमरा करता है, वो इधर हमारे बोलते हैं, वो बोलता है अपने अपने जाना है, अपने जाना है, वो बहुत हेल्प करता है। He is saying that in his NRC hearing, next time though camera is not allowed, but CCTV team members used to go along with him, and even in rainy seasons, they took videos so that whatever the question is raised and whatever he is giving the answer that can be distorted they took every initiative so that they can further hammering the energy operation. I would like to say about 
Asamali, we have to write 12 times to NRC authority and we have to write 11 times for Gopalas to include their names and we have to take very strict surveillance, surveillance for their life.